What's up, YouTubeless EXO? All excited today to start the big install video for the door panels. Man, I have been waiting to get my hands dirty with this particular project, and today is the day. Can't wait, it's my first set. In fact, it's gonna be completely custom. What you're seeing right here is only gonna be our template to trace out and do a whole new, uh, whole new door panel. We're gonna make new ones out of this three quarter inch, add the step up rings, make a little enclosure in there, get it all sealed up with the fiberglass, which we have got right there. I'm gonna figure out which way to plot it so it's uh, the most logical way to save wood. So here we go, guys, without freaking boring you anymore, let's get into these custom door panels. Two tens and two sixes and potentially a set of tweeters in there, but I might just keep them for my A-pillars if you know what I'm saying. Well, there it is, everybody. Cut out all the areas where it made it uneven for the door panel, and she's mocking up just fine. Now, before I get into the second one, I figure I'd give you guys a little brief update. It's like 11.30 at night right now, but hell, this is what it's looking like. One sheet of three-quarter inch birch all mocked up. Here's the second one right here. Just a quick little update. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tripod down and get in this fast motion mesh like you guys like. <laughs> All right, guys, well, there she is, sitting pretty. Granted, it's only hauled in by two screws right now, but this will allow me to at least get some circles drawn for where I'm gonna plot out my speakers. So I'm gonna get set, I'm gonna sit my ass right down in here, really, and start to plan out where I'm gonna be putting my speakers. Now, I'd like to have my tens located about right here, so I'm gonna force myself into doing, you know, that, even if I have to remove some stuff. And then the six is right here, right next to my face. So let's go ahead and start getting the circles drawn. We got some of the rings, ah, we got the rings right there. So let's do this. I went ahead and screwed these two together so it'll be a lot easier, you know, to mess around with plotting it out on this here um, piece of wood. So it's this damn light. Ah, sorry, I'm not gonna get frustrated. I'm just trying to get this on film and it's frustrating. So I've already written, didn't done my lines right down there. I marked out where it's gonna have to be all around the edges. And then uh, to make it correspond with the other circle, because obviously that means nothing in correlation to this, because it could be over here, over there, over there, and it would still line up down there. So I marked the center of the circle right there with where I need it to mark up right up here. Son of a whore! The Kodak ZA8s have a flip macro and it's, it's hard to deal with. So right there, as you can see, circle center lines up with this line right here so it'll be sitting in like that right next to me right like that and then with the sixes I did the same thing which they're already inside I gotta go get them um, damn late I gotta go get them uh, right here one's gonna be right here the other is gonna be right here so my arm my arm whatever is gonna be like chilling up here whenever I have it next to the window and the sixes will be you know right below it so it'll I'll be kind of chilling like this um, that's how that's gonna work out. All right, let's go ahead and get back inside and show you what I did here because I, st I still gotta connect some of these. The rings for the mid driver is all set, ready to dry. We're just gonna let them sit here for a little bit. And in the meantime, we're gonna kill two birds with one stone, go out here to the expedition, and run all the speaker wires that need to be going from the front to the back. But fortunately, we're one step ahead of the game. Actually got some hosing over here. It's pretty thick, but yet very flimsy. And you can fish it right through with ease. That would have taken me a lot longer to do by hand to fish through this hole and then tap through right there. 
Well, this makes it 10 times easier. So we're just gonna keep on pulling this through until we see the wire come, ah, come on through. Come on, baby, you know you wanna go through that hole. There you go, and it should come right out. There it is, just like that. And then we'll be able to run it through that booty into the door panel and hook up our speakers. Whew. And there we go, a freaking seamless right job right through the booty into the door panels. So take care of my six and a halfs and my tens. And I'm gonna be mounting all the tweeters right here in the A pillar, just because I feel personally, I feel if that sounds better. You know, that's my own preference there. And I had to put my camera down and get focused and get those wires through this booty. It was very frustrating. And uh, I ended up, you know, doing it without having to cut anything. You turn the macro on, all the wires are right in through there. Just to prove it to you, let me see if I can. Yep, you can see it, check that out. It'll go right in. I'll probably zip tie them nice together, make them all look nice and neat for the door panel that will go on soon. So let's shift gears into the next side and see if we have enough wire here from Audio Technics. Big thanks to Coleman Dettinger for sending me over this wire for 20 bucks. Can't beat it, it's freaking awesome. Got some eight gauge as well. All right, I'm gonna try my hardest here to show you guys what I'm doing. This is gonna suck, but try to pay attention in there. I'm fishing through this little, through the booty here. Oh, fuck. Damn. Ah, there it is. See it? See it coming through the bottom? Ugh. Next thing I know, I look down at my hand. What the hell? I didn't even realize I had a cut there. Duct tape. Nature's band-aid. Okay, now that we know where the speakers are gonna go, we can go ahead and take this bitch off and start placing the rings where they're gonna be permanently mounted with some step-ups with 2x4s and other various pieces of wood to make it the height that it needs to be. Uh, both to where I want it to be up here and then both where it has to be down there to fit between the seats. Okay, back in the woodshed here, we got the jigsaw already. Just gonna go ahead and cut out the platforms that I need to step up my rings there in the needed places and then call it good from there because this is only gonna take about 20 minutes and it's already about freaking 1 a.m. So I'm gonna get this done and uh, let's see how she turns out, everybody. Coming back at you, freaking burnt out my battery, had smoke sizzling out of it. This is what it ended up looking like. We got everything all mocked up looking real nice around the edges got everything all rounded over now we're almost ready to get to glass in here which we're gonna be pulling fabric all across here coming down to here and then going flat down all around to the edges of the wood in the end I'm gonna have some flex stone on this it's gonna be looking pretty damn good so it's just giving you guys a little brief update sorry I couldn't get the whole thing on film but Basically just cut those. It's really hard doing work and filming and doing videos all at the same time. It's really like doing stuff like this, it's a lot of work. Thanks for watching the videos and let's see what we can pull up together.
we got both panels all pretty much mocked up, but now we gotta focus our attention down into these switches. As you know, we made a whole new door panel, so the stock switch holder was not gonna work for this. We're gonna have to make ourselves a little custom one. So I'm gonna go in, sand off all the areas that's not gonna make it flush. All right, we got her all sanded down. That way we can slip her right into the housing. Okay, we got the air sander here. Now we're just gonna target all the areas that will be noticeable once we start wrapping it and then fiberglass it. So corners like that, corners like this, and we're gonna round these off with an air saw. It's all right. And we're gonna round these off with an air saw like you saw on the other one, and then sand that up too. That way there won't be any blocks in the way of our upholstery there. Well, there she is, sitting pretty, right next to the other one, left and right, all taken care of. Now it's just a matter of getting our little Mickey Mouse fabric, which is somewhere around here. I don't know, we're, oh, right there. We're gonna pick up this little Mickey Mouse fella. We got this upholstery at, well, it's fabric just at Walmart at the fabric section. We're gonna go ahead and tack it on one side, pull it to the other, and then gradually tension up all the loose fabric to where we can staple it onto the key areas and make it look like a door panel.
Well, there she is, ladies and gentlemen. Two coats of resin all spippity diffity Shining in the sunlight real good. Mickey's all happy about it. The contours are looking nice, and it's real thick, but it's very hard. And now we're just gonna wait for this coat to dry, and then we're gonna be able to sand it out, put some Bondo in the needed areas, like right there, maybe a little bit, just to round it off. So I'm getting real excited, guys. Just coming down to the wire. She's looking good. We got the layer of fiberglass mat down there to make her extra strong. We got the mar glass from Everclear. That's the kind of the green tint that you're seeing there. Still kind of wet. Got shiny gloss going on. It's hot out too, so it'll probably dry in no time. It's looking real good. So I'll let you guys know when she's all dried up. We're getting stronger and stronger by the second. <laughs> Well there they are guys, my first set of door panels. Looking pretty good if you ask me. I'm really proud with the way they turned out. Took me about a week from start to finish and the videos amassed at 23 gigabytes. Added down to about 1.2 in two days. So if you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for the rest of the build coming up real soon. And until then, this is EXO signing out. Eyes are hurting from editing so much. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>